Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have changed their plans to be with Queen Elizabeth amid health concerns. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who were already in Europe for various events, were expected to attend the Well Child Awards in London on Thursday, but are now traveling to Scotland to be with the monarch at Balmoral, a spokesperson for the couple announced on Thursday. Meghan and Harry will be in Balmoral with other senior members of the royal family who are also traveling to be by the Queen's bedside as she is having some health struggles. Buckingham Palace released a statement on Thursday sharing that the royal's doctors are quote concerned for her health, saying in part, following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. The Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. The Queen's son and heir, Prince Charles, and his wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, have traveled to Balmoral to be by the monarch's side. And Prince William, who is second in line to the throne, is heading to Balmoral. His wife, Kate Middleton, will remain in Windsor as Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are on their first full day at their new school, Kensington Palace told the UK Press Association. The somber news follows an announcement Wednesday that the Queen would not preside over a scheduled Privy Council meeting so she could rest, with the palace revealing in a statement, after a full day yesterday, Her Majesty has this afternoon accepted doctor's advice to rest. This means that the Privy Council meeting that had been due to take place this evening will be rearranged. Queen Elizabeth was last seen in photos on Tuesday, where she appointed Conservative Party leader Liz Truss as the UK's new Prime Minister. Truss tweeted in reaction to the palace's statement about the monarch's health, writing in part, the whole country will be deeply concerned by the news from Buckingham Palace this lunchtime. My thoughts and the thoughts of people across our United Kingdom are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this time. During her historic 70-year reign, Queen Elizabeth has appointed 14 prime ministers from Buckingham Palace. Her mobility issues recently have caused her to miss several events in the past, including some outings during her Platinum Jubilee in June. As a result, several members of the royal family have been stepping up to fill her shoes. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been stepping things up in order to one day be the head of the monarchy. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign in comparison with the queens will be very short lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things, without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.